here in Sheridan, Wyoming, barbstamps.com. So if I'm live on YouTube, we all know what time it is. 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, and 7 Eastern on a Thursday. I am very excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, I see a little chatting going on in the box about weather, and I think we're all having some horrible, crazy weather um, around the country. So hopefully you guys aren't in too bad of weather, because I know there's been some like tornadoes and really bad stuff um, down south. So um, yikes. Okay, I'm looking at myself on my iPad. It looks, oh, there we go. It was a little blurry at first, but it's cleared up, so we're good. All right, so let's see. Does anybody have any great information out there? Let's just see. 38 degrees in Ohio for Amy. Uh, Tony's up in Pennsylvania. Do you guys have a lot of snow up there, Tony? I, I don't know if you guys got, if snow was up there or not. We got a lot. I think my husband measured what was on our deck. Was it yesterday? I don't know. He shoveled like every day for the past three days. So I think he's tired of it. But I think it was 14 inches what was on our deck. Which, I mean, that's a lot. We don't typically get... I mean, it gets cold here and we have snow and things like that. But, you know, we don't typically get amounts like that. So that's a lot of snow for us. Um, it's very light snow, and now we're having horrendous wind that is blowing it all over the place. So now we're having that to deal with. <laughs> but it is what it is, and, you know, we will we will survive. That's what we do here in Wyoming. We didn't, no school got closed, at least in my town. Um, our schools were open. I think they got out early on Tuesday. I think it was Tuesday that we had to really, the really the most of the snow. So the kids got out early on Tuesday. I don't know what happened yesterday, but today they had a two hour late start. And typically when they have a two hour late start, it's because the buses can't get through because the county has to get out and plow the roads, you know, out of the city uh, where a lot of the kids live. And so if the county, um, they need to give the county some time to get those routes roads plowed so the buses can get through and get the kids to school so we had a two hour late start this morning um not that it makes any difference to me whatsoever i don't have any kids in school anymore <laughs> it's just uh no we're all we're all working people so my son is working he did go to work today at seven he came home at 10. uh the wind was blowing he works outside um and so the last two days he's been uh, plowing all the area, excuse me, all the areas around all the storage units that he's building um, and that they're renting out. So he's been plowing snow um, the past couple of days. And then they were gonna work on the storage units today, but with the wind and it's 20 degrees and 45 mile an hour winds, that puts it at about zero. So that's a little bit too cold to be outside working. So they decided to call it a day and come home. Oh, look at this. I'm going to fix my little Santa hat. I have a funny story to tell you guys about this Santa hat. Let's see if I can find it. So typically when I go live, it, I, I like to wear like little um, headbands. I have a bunch. I have numerous headbands. So I have this little headband here, this little reindeer. And I believe I got it last year at the dollar store when Dina and Kelly were here in November. Um, that would be like 2021. And they were a dollar. And for some reason, I put it on today and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to wear my little headband. And for some reason, I was thinking that these were wire. These horns were wire because a lot of them are wire and you can adjust them. And so I was trying to adjust it. Snapped off because, of course, it's plastic and it was a dollar. So that's why I'm wearing a Santa hat. I don't typically wear Santa hats. I don't have the right kind of hair to wear a hat. Uh, but... What are you going to do? Otherwise, I'd be Rudolph the Red Horn, One Horned Reindeer. And I thought that might look kind of stupid. So I decided not to do that. So maybe I need to make a trip to the dollar store. We'll see. All right. I know some of you guys have been uh, making some comments here. So let me just check them out and see if there's anything exciting that I need to address. Uh, just a lot of you guys are talking about cruddy weather. Yeah, there's a lot of cruddy weather. Um, so I hope everyone is staying. Oh, right. Dolly's right. They're antlers. You're right. So I broke off an antler. So there you go. All right. So we're going Santa hat mode. It was a last minute thing. I found another set of 
antlers that I had, but they're really, really dumb. Oh, Amy's asking a good question. Who's taking advantage of free shipping today? Me. I placed a very large order this morning and, um, yeah, and I actually sent it, um, expedited. So I'll get it on Monday. So I'm pretty excited. I got some more stuff out of the mini catalog. I actually was able to order the little boho blue baby boss. Can hardly wait to get that thing. In case you guys didn't know, um, that is um, an item that you can get for free in your starter kit when you join Stampin' Up! in January and February. So um, I'm pretty excited to get that because Boho Blue is a little sneak peek of a new in color. Just saying. It says so right in the catalog. Eee! So very exciting. So I did get myself a little new Boho Blue Baby Boss. So I'm pretty excited about that. Boho Blue Baby Boss. Isn't that alliteration? <laughs> Look at me with the English terms. Anyway. Okay. So, um, there's no, there's nothing funny to report. Uh, just lots of snow. My husband's been, he's working the night shift now. So he goes to work and I hate it when he, I mean, I'm kind of torn. I, I don't mind it that he works the night shift. That's fine. I don't mind being here and taking care of myself and being by myself and whatever. I just work, which is fine. Um, but I have to make dinner for him at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So it's a little hard because I'm not ready to eat dinner at three o'clock in the afternoon. So the nights that he works, I have to make food that can be like prepared singly, like for individuals. So I'll like, I'll make his food at three. And then my son and I, if my son comes home, which a lot of times he doesn't, uh, then we might eat later. So yeah, well, whatever, what can you do? But other than that, I do like uh, when he's on the night shift. Um, I do have a lot more time to work <laughs> because typically if he's working the day shift, he gets off at five, we eat dinner and then we go and we watch TV. Now I usually try to take work out there, but there's something about me in TV. If I'm watching TV, I'm asleep. I cannot stay awake. I try my hardest to stay awake when we're watching stuff. Can't do it. But if I'm in here working and I'm, I'm busy, uh, then I can stay awake. So anyways, it's just a toss up. You know, what can you do? Anywho, um, enough about that. Like I said, there's nothing really going on here. It's Christmas. So I guess I should mention that I don't know if I'm going to be live next week or the week after. I don't know. Uh, next week, my daughter's going to be here and we'll be getting ready for the Christmas festivities. And my brother is arriving here on Christmas Day. So then he'll be here the week after Christmas. So I don't know as I'm going to be live either one of these. So who knows? It's hard to say. Cheryl says her husband works seven to seven some nights and some days. Fortunate. Yeah, I know. It's my husband's been doing it for about 23 years. So I totally get it. Not quite the same as 42 or, but you know, it's been a long time. Uh, he really needs to retire, but he just, he just doesn't want to yet, I guess. So anyway, so I might take some time off. I don't normally take time off except when we have our vacation in the summer because I literally have no internet access and I'm not at home. So I, I can't work. But other than that, I don't really ever take time off. I mean, of course, if it's Thanksgiving or something like that, I'm not going to be live. But I mean, I'm always working. So we'll see what happens. I may or may not be live. I guess if I show up, I show up. If I don't, I don't. Okay, let's flip this camera and get to the stamping and stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys are taking advantage of the free shipping. There's still a lot of stuff left on the clearance rack. I did check that out as well. Um, I didn't need anything because, you know... I have plenty of stuff, um, and I probably have the stuff that's on the clearance rack anyway. All right, now I'm taking the Santa hat off because I can't handle having the Santa hat on while I'm trying to work. And I got my glasses here, and I have a fun little toy to show you guys. I'm, I, I can't remember if I showed it last year or not. I might have. But a lot of you are new to the channel, so you might not have seen it. And a lot of you were telling me to take time off, so I just may take you guys up on that and take some time off. We'll see. So anyway, this is a little toy and I bought it last year. And what made me buy it was we have a toy that is similar to this. Uh, you push this lever and then it's a Christmas tree, the other one, and it spins open and there's a Santa in there. So I wanted to replace it because it was getting kind of broken. We've had it for a super long time, but we all love messing around with these things. 
Well, while I was looking for to replace that Christmas tree, I found this. So you guys have probably all heard of the movie The Christmas Story. And you've probably all seen the scene where the dad gets the box from, he believes it's French because it says Fragile on it. But what's in it? Check that out. It's a leg lamp. <laughs> so we actually have these things sitting on our dinner table. We have three of them because I found one with a Snoopy inside of a Christmas tree also. And they're like fidget toys, I guess. And so we love playing with them. So when I saw this, my husband literally loves the movie A Christmas Story, which I'm sure lots of you guys do. And anyway, when I saw this, I had to buy it. How do you not buy that, you know? So anyway... I thought I'd share that with you. I think I got it on eBay, actually. Um, and I don't remember what I what it was called. Like a push toy or... Does it say on here? Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, it's... They're, um, what was the company that made them? Does it say on this? The one that I have upstairs, the really old one, had like a name on it. Um, I think I just like probably Googled push toy that opens up or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's how I found it. Um, so anyways, I thought you guys might get a kick out of that. So there you go. Okay. So since we have free shipping going on today, uh, we decided to offer a special. So the special is if you order $75 or more, um, in my online store using this host code, then I will gift you with, uh, the supplies to make these six beautiful cards with this gorgeous designer series paper that's in the celebration brochure. So and this goes through the end of the month. Doesn't have to be today, but today's a good day to order it because it's free shipping day. So um, anyway, order in my online store using the host code and I will um, gift you with the card kit. So there you go. Okay. Let me move on. If I can get that turned around. Um, and just so you guys know, a little reminder, if you join my team in December, you can add things from the mini catalog to your starter kit if you if you so desire. Now, you don't get like the baby boss. Um, that's a special for it next month. So you might want to wait. But if you don't want to wait, um, it's now is always the perfect time to join Stampin' Up. And of course, if you're buying Stampin' Up products, you should be a demonstrator. All right. Um, I do have product shares. I am taking reservations for my product shares. Um, I think there's a link in the description of this video to register for them. If not, I will put it in after I'm done being live. But I have the I Want It All Share, which is the designer series paper, ribbon, and embellishments out of the new catalog. It's most of the embellishments. Some of them I don't like to mess around with because they're just too hard to divvy up. Um, but anyway, if you don't want the I Want It All, you can get just the DSP ribbon or embellishments. And if you do get the I Want It All, you get a sampling of the dandy designs celebration paper that looks like this such fun spring patterns love them okay uh we have the two classes for the month we have the alpha best which i'm going to make a card using some of the stuff um that we're doing in the class this month so i'll share those with you and then i also have my fresh cut flowers class to go and here are my four cards you make two of each in the class so if you're interested in that, uh, either one of those classes, the links are in the description. You do get envelopes in this class here. And the links are in the description. All right. Adhesive kits. I always have those for sale. If you're interested in an adhesive kit, you get a lot of fun stuff in the bag. Make a great gift for somebody. Just saying. And speaking of great gifts for somebody, a membership to Stamp Happy Academy would also be a great member, a great present for someone on your list uh even just like a single month you know they could uh you could give them the money they could sign up they would love it and they would continue getting it um yeah kelly was going to be live today but she is ill um i think she's got some food poisoning so that's no good but she's hoping she'll feel better tomorrow and then can do it tomorrow so anyways all right we are done with that i did want to share some goodies that i got in the mail I got a pretty big package from Sherry, and Sherry's on here tonight, so I did want to um, share what she gave me. She gave me some fantastic items. She gave me this gorgeous Christmas card using some of that fun celebration, or not celebration, host paper that's called Celebrate, Celebrates Everything. I don't know. I can't remember. 
And she made this cute little, I don't know if this is an ornament. I think it is. Oh, Marjean, you're so sweet. Marjean is saying that my classes are all very nice. She is very sweet. Thank you so much, Marjean. She's not wrong, though. And I believe you just flip this open and attach it, hook it back together. Now, I, if I'm wrong with this, Sherry, let me know. Um, and then I think you push the little ball back down and that kind of closes it up so, or not closes it, but keeps it together. So then you have this fun little paper ornament that you can use. So how fun is that? And the fact that you can just flip it down and you can mail it to somebody. How cute is that? So thank you. She also sent me some pretzel stars that are peppermint. Look how lovely these look, you guys. I don't want to open them right now, Sherry. I want to save them. My daughter likes these and so I want to share them with her so she's supposed to be here I think Monday I hope so we're gonna um enjoy these together I'm sure they're delicious and then she got me this sketchbook look how awesome this is so you can like keep track of your favorite sketches and color combinations measurements all that good stuff how fun is that so that is another so thank you Sherry that was very very kind of you to send me all those goodies I appreciate that very much um, and I will put these away. And then I have a couple other cards to share with you guys that I did get. I got this really cute card. This is from Tony. So thank you, Tony. I appreciate that very much. And I don't remember if I showed this one or not. This is from Mary Bestgrove. Um, and I don't think I shared it. So I just want to say yay. Thank you so much, Mary. I got this beautiful card from Cindy. She did a great job here. Look at all those fancy, oh, we got the glitter paper on there. We got that fantastic paper. We got some embossing, just fantastic. All right. Um, then I have this one from Peg, another really gorgeous class, a class card using a wreath set. And then I got this one from, who was this one from? This is from Anne. So this is also super cute. Thank you very much, Anne. I appreciate that. So thank you guys for thinking of me uh, during this very busy time of the year. I appreciate that very much. Okay, let me get something to work on. Um, how about this? Okay, so like I mentioned, we are doing our Alpha Best uh, class for the month of December. And we are using the Today's the Day Memories and More card kit. And there's a lot of fun cards in here, you guys. So these are just some pieces that I've taken off. There's a lot. Now these are designed, they can, these can be used for like, if you're a scrapbooker, I'm not, but a lot of you are. And so you can use these cards like on your scrapbook pages. But you can also just use these little cards as fun like pieces of designer series paper um, on projects and so you can see I've done some cutting of that I've cut that one I've cut this one and there's just a ton of these fun cards so we have our class has nine projects in it and then you get some stickers too so it's a lot of stuff and you get this pack of cards in the class so you don't have to worry about um, getting that yourself you do get the cards in the class you also get a roll of the soft sea foam uh, seam binding ribbon and you get some rhinestones so you get a lot of good stuff and then if you want the alpha best bundle we can't order the bundle right now it's on unorderable status but it's coming back the beginning of january and so we should be able to order it then but a lot of you probably already have it so you know you can just get the class and you've already got this so you're good to go all right so here are some pieces that I've already got cut. So I've got a card base of gray granite. So this is a standard eight and a half by five and a half. And go ahead and burnish that. I've got a layer of white for the inside, four by five and a quarter. I have taken a couple of these cards and I cut them out using this oval die in the framed florets die set. So it's the one that kind of makes the pie crust um, edge. And we're going to use the smoky what is this gray granite outer piece and then i'm going to use this little striped card for the inside someone just said something about my daughter i would love to have your daughter pop in so we can meet her oh my gosh she would probably be willing to do that if i go live next thursday uh while she's here i'll definitely have her pop in okay 
So I've got those two pieces. So those were cards in the kit and I just cut them with the oval. Then I also chopped off a few pieces from some of these random cards in the kit. So I have four different pieces here. They're all three quarter by four inch strips. Here's the back sides. Oh, this isn't for the inside. I will get one for the inside. This is for the outside, but I'll get one for the inside. So I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna start off by having the two end pieces be, a, I don't know, about an inch to three quarters of an inch from the edge. So let me add some adhesive to these things and we'll get them on. All right, so, so I know there's been some funny memes going around of people, like when someone says to you, hey, are you ready for Christmas? And the response is, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not even ready for today. And that's kind of how I feel. And part of that reason is because my kids, for some reason, are super hard to buy for this year. Neither one of them have really given me any great ideas, you know? My daughter's like, I don't know what I want. And so I'm thinking to myself, well, if you don't know what you want, then guess what, dearie? You don't get anything because I don't know what you want. You're 21 years old. You don't live here anymore. And I don't know. Mary says I could have a mother-daughter video and have fun while making memories. Um, I could, Mary. She is not very crafty. She doesn't like to craft too much, even though she did design a couple of my swap cards. She doesn't really like to craft too much with me. I am having a really hard time with this. I think it's because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. This is not working out for me at all, as if you couldn't tell. Jeez Louise, I don't feel like any of that's straight. <laughs> okay, maybe. And then I have a little piece on the back. This is actually a, uh, a scrap piece. So there's some writing on the back of it. Okay, so I am going to end up putting that there. So let me add my adhesive to get it onto the layer here. Try not to show that person's information. Okay, so there we go. That's what we have so far. And then uh, we're going to put this piece on here. But first of all, I wanted to do a little bit of that ribbon action where you kind of loop it back and forth and I stink at this so hard I don't know why it's so difficult for me but it is for some reason this is just something that is difficult for me to do it doesn't seem like it should be that difficult whoops that did not go very well there okay but I want it to be like wider than my label thing here, this thing. And see, that's where I struggle because it's not, it's not enough. And I already cut it off. So then it's going to look stupid. All right. So how can, how do you fix this? If you make it too short, I guess you have to get a new piece, don't you? Yes. Cynthia asks, do you ever have days where you can't put anything together or create anything? Oh gosh. <laughs> Cynthia, you would... Just chuckle if you saw how many days I am down in my room just beside myself because things are not coming together. Yeah, it's it's a constant. All right, we're going to try this again. Jeez, I don't know why it's so hard, but I'm seeing that some of you, some of you other people are struggling with it too. So I don't feel so bad. You know, it's not so bad when it's like more than one person. You know, you kind of feel a little bit, um, what's the right word? you don't feel so bad when you're like, oh, okay, I'm not the only person that doesn't get this. You know, I'm not the only person that struggles with doing this. And if this thing wasn't open, I would be having a lot less struggles with it, but it's open. And so that's why I'm having such a horrible time here. Okay. So I need that to go there, that to go like that, this to come over here, and then that to be like that. So I think that's what we're going to do. And you know me, <laughs> I'm going to tape it down because that's just how we roll in this place. Okay, so now I'm going to add this. <laughs> Kathleen says, 
What did she say? She had a good day stamping, but yesterday was the pits. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of a cyclical thing. I don't know. Some days, you know, things go together really well. And, you know, sometimes you have ideas in your head and you're like, oh, that's, that's going to be good. And, and it actually works out. And then other days, the ideas that you have in your head, as you're sticking them on paper, you're like, what was I thinking? This looks terrible. And that happens. That does happen. You want to say it doesn't happen that often, but I don't know. To me, it kind of does sometimes. Okay. So we have that. Somebody just said something about Ariana Grande. Courtney says her 25-year-old daughter asked for Ariana Grande's perfume. <sighs> you know what? My daughter, that's another thing. She doesn't wear perfume. She doesn't wear jewelry. Um, she doesn't buy, like, make. She doesn't really wear makeup. So it's like, I can't even... You know, there's so many fun things that you could buy for a girl if a girl liked jewelry, makeup, and hair stuff, and perfume. There's so many things, and she likes none of that stuff. It kind of drives me crazy, honestly. I'm like, why don't you like that stuff? But she she just doesn't. What are you going to do? So, those things are out, unfortunately. But I appreciate the suggestion because, like I said, I am just stumped here about what to get her. And then especially when I say, oh, you know, what, what do you want? I don't know. It's like, well, it's getting close to the time. And we don't live anywhere where they're shopping. I mean, I live in a town of like 15,000 people and the store that we have is Walmart. So if I can't order it online, I can't get it. Uh, Cheryl says that she like lotion. You know what? Right now she's on Accutane for her acne. So she has very specific skincare that she's been using because her skin is so dry and sensitive right now. So I wouldn't dare buy her anything um, that might, you know, cause her a problem. But that is a great idea, too. I'm just telling you, it's like all these things that I was just like, oh, I would love to be able to buy that for you. And I can't. So, Okay. So we are now going to do some stamping. We've got our assembly, our card kind of done here. Now we're going to do a little stamping with the alphabet. And I'm going to say thank you. And so what I have here is, ooh, that's a good idea. Kathleen says gift cards to restaurant and movies. Ooh, maybe I could get her some movie cards. That's that's a good idea. Um, I've taken the T-H-A-N-K-Y-O-U and I have put them two per block. So one on the right side of this, then I flip it over and one on the right side of that. So. Yeah, I know. Anything on Amazon. Exactly. You can. Get, I know. And I've been getting a few things on Amazon, just like random things. That, you know, you can go to Amazon. You can just search for gifts for women. You know what I mean? So socks. Now, that's a good idea. Does she have an air fryer? Well, no, but I bought myself an air fryer. <laughs> Actually, my family bought me an air fryer and I bought myself an air fryer literally the same day. So, and then I posted on Facebook that I bought the air fryer and I think Dina kind of knew that my daughter was thinking about getting me an air fryer. So she messaged her and she's like, Hey, your mom just bought an air fryer. So she messages me and she's like, um, did you seriously buy an air fryer? And I'm like, yeah, why? And she says, I just bought you one. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Because her, apparently her and my husband and my son had been discussing this. And um, I told her which one I think I thought that I might like. Um, anyway, so she found it not at the same place I did. But anyway. So, yeah, kind of crazy. Okay, Sherry says, how about a smart oven toaster oven that has an air fryer in it? Well, maybe, maybe. That's a good idea, too. You guys are giving me a lot of great ideas. All right, T-H-A-N-K. Got to make sure I spell correctly. Okay, and then we're going to go with the K. And then I'm actually going to start the Y-O-U with the same color. And I'll show you why when I actually put the whole thing together and why I did it like that. So the Y... And then the O is going to be the, and I'm using Calypso Coral and Mint Macaron because sometimes you guys are asking me, you know, what colors I'm using and that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, so the jig is up. The thing arrived uh, the day of the snowstorm and my husband actually saw the UPS guy outside and he went and got it 
And I happened to be in the living room when he brought it in and he says, did you order something? I said, no. And he said, well, then you can't see this. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm like, I already know what it is because I ordered it. <laughs> Anyways, subscription to Netflix. That would be a great idea, except that we have Netflix already. And so she's using my account. So what do you do? Okay, so I've stamped all my letters in coral and mint. And now I'm going to stamp this little border piece in gray granite. How about a Fitbit? Hmm. I don't know if she would actually use something like that. I may have to check into that and see what she thinks. Oh, whoops, what's that? All right. So we are just adding a border around all of these letters. AirPods. She does have some AirPods. That's a great idea, though. Buying. Mary Ellen, are you talking about buying stuff for yourself? Is that what you're saying? Or me? Yeah, I do buy. And the funny thing is, as I said to her, I said, normally her and my son, you know, they get me like something pretty inexpensive, like, you know, a calendar or something like that, you know. So I never would have thought for one minute that they would be going in on an air fryer. I mean, of course, they were going in on it with my husband. But I just never thought for one second that that didn't even dawn on me. And so she starts, she, so she kind of hollers at me a little bit and says, you know the rule, mother. You don't buy yourself stuff around Christmas. And that's true. That is a rule here. So I broke the rule. All right. So I am using the little best label punch here to punch these out. Now, this is the actual thing that's kind of on back order right now. Uh, but like I said, I'm sure a lot of you guys already have this. And so if you did want to get the class, you would probably already have this. Electric tea kettle. Interesting idea. That is a good idea too. Yes. And somebody's saying that's the same rule. Oh, Sherry says, yeah, I know. And I should know better. But the funny thing is, is I think I told you guys, my husband, his snowmobile uh, the engine seized up, and so it's going to cost like thousands of dollars to fix it. And we don't normally ever get each other Christmas presents. We never have. It's just one of those things that we we just have never done that because we just if we need something or want something, we just we just get it. Um, so we don't. So I didn't even think that he might be in on the you know the gifting. So anyway, it's fine. I'm getting what I want. <laughs> Which is, that's what, that's, that makes me happy for Christmas. I'm getting what I want. Okay, so I have the words and you can see what I, why I did the K and the Y the same color because when I put them underneath of each other, they, the colors are still like opposite or whatever. You get what I'm saying. Okay, so now I am going to add dimensionals to the backs of all these little guys. And then we're going to add them to the card. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, Connie says she keeps saying she doesn't need these. You know, I know, Connie, and I'm just, it's the same. It's the same for all of us. You know, we don't need anything until we see somebody make something fabulous with it, with it and then we all need it. Uh, Lee is asking if she cooks. Yes, she actually does really enjoy cooking. She does have a lot of things. She's got an Instapot and a toaster oven. She's got a microwave. Um, she's got some nice pots and pans. Um, I did have, um, a pampered chef party for her, um, a year and a half ago, and she got some really, um, nice things from them. She got that fancy blender that they have, and I don't remember what else she got. She got a lot of stuff. So she does have some kitchen gadgets, and I don't, I don't know what she doesn't have. The one thing that she did mention that she doesn't have that she would like is a spaghetti thing. You know, where you scoop the spaghetti out of a pan. I'm like, oh, okay, that's a dollar. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We'll figure it out. If worse comes to worse, like you guys said, I'll just get her some gift cards to some different places. And yeah, that'll work. All right. And I'm not trying to have these be on here perfect. Because they're not going to be. Oops, I should put the K on. Cooking class. Ooh, I did not even know that was a thing, Wendy. Okay. Well, we may have to check into that. Online cooking classes. I mean, I knew you could go to a class in like in a 
a real person class. But I didn't know you could do it online. That's really interesting. And you can see I haven't actually like smashed my dimensionals down yet. So um, I'm able to kind of pick them up and move them around a little bit. Master class. There you go. There you go. The griddle from Pampered Chef. Ooh, I think a friend of mine bought that at my party. Okay, so there is the outside of the card. Now I need a layer of white because I had a little idea about what I was going to do on the inside. Let me find a, a white layer here. So in this little stamp set, there is this cute little floral um, piece. Oh, somebody said a America's Test Kitchen. Oh, okay, Sherry. That's good to know. I'm going to mention that to her and see what she thinks. All right. So I am going to try to do this. We're going to see because I want to use all these colors and I want to kind of go across the bottom of my card, but I don't want to have to like clean my stamp every single time. So I'm going to try to like do it you know, like thirds. So I'm going to say, okay, this would go here. Oh, you know what? Nope, I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't want to take the chance that I'm going to screw it all up. So I'm just going to clean up my stamp. And we'll just continue. So, And then I'm going to kind of have these be different heights. So some of these will be tall flowers. Some of them will be kind of medium height. Some of them will be short. We'll just kind of do a whole, a whole row of them. And you can hear me spanking off my stamp as I clean it off. That's just kind of drying it so that when I uh, put it into the ink again, I'm not, um, it's not wet. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay. Dry it off a little. And we're just going to go all the way along the bottom. This little flower thing is just really cute, honestly. That was a little bit high, maybe. Okay, you guys are talking about the cooking class still. I'm going to mention that to her. Maybe I'll ask her next week because, I mean, I'm sure it's one of those things you can just buy it and it's an instant download or something like that, isn't it? So um, that actually, we'll see. I'll let you know if she went for it. Okay, so we have now gone all the way across with our three different colors. And... I am going to add this to the inside of the card. And then it is done. Oh, no, it's not. I'm going to add some rhinestones. We're close. We're close to being done with this. Very, very close. There we go. Oh, Test Kitchen is a subscription, she says. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to investigate that a little bit. Where is my rhinestones? Here we go. Um, I'm going to take your pick tool here. I think we're just going to go with the old standard thing that you do. You put a couple up there and then you put a single down here and you call it good. That just seems to be the perfect way to put the rhinestones. All right. Oh, Sherry says you can pick and choose your classes. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. I have to show you my inspiration card. I actually got this card in a swap from my friend Sandy. And I happened to be going through some things today and I saw the card and I went, oh my gosh, I love that layout. I need to do something with it. So here we are. All right. I'm going to leave those there for just a quick second while I clean off these stamps because I don't want to put them back into my buckets inky. Because when I do that, I invariably get ink on things that I don't want ink on. And then that really is a bummer. Okay. We are now moving on. So let me get these out of the way. Oh, I've got a dimensional stuck on my desk right here. Okay. Ooh, a pasta maker. Um, I don't know as though she would go to that trouble, Mary, but I will ask her. That's a good idea. Okay. Here is another thing that I happened to... <laughs> I was looking through some pictures on my old phone the other day, and I came across this fun 
gift card holder idea. So I'm going to use the Celebrate Everything paper. This is the paper that Sherry made that fantastic little fold-out ornament um, out of that I showed you guys in the beginning. And so I'm going to use this paper to make this project along with, uh, we have these uh, whisper, whisper, they're actually basic white now, but white memories and more cards and envelopes. And that's basically all they are is white cards and then matching envelopes. So you have cards that will fold up to be uh, three by four and you have cards that will fold up to be four by six and then you have coordinating envelopes, okay? So I'm actually gonna use two of these smaller envelopes for this project. And you could use like our note cards and envelopes. They're a little bit bigger than these. Those would work too. Okay, and I have all my pieces and parts and stuff cut here. So I've got a couple gift cards. I've got some detail pieces here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to attach these envelopes together. Okay, so I'm gonna add this envelope flap to the back of this envelope. So I'm gonna add some adhesive here at the fold line. And then I'm gonna add adhesive up around. And I could lick that, but I do want the adhesive to go all the way around. And of course the licking doesn't go all the way around. So, all right, so I am gonna attach these two things together. Okay, like that. And so then basically what you have is you have this little folded up gem that you now have two pockets for gift cards. So then this is kind of like the front where we have that glued envelope down. So I am going to glue a piece of designer series paper to the front of my thing. So here's basically how it goes. So you have the flap down here, but when you bring it around, that's the top. Okay, so this piece is a three and a half by four and a half piece of designer series paper. And we are going to just have adhesive go all the way around because we do want it to seal the whole thing. A little bit on the inside. Okay, so this is another way to get rid of some of that designer series paper that we're all hoarding. Okay, so now we're back to the back side of it. And I have two more pieces of the same designer series paper. And you can decide which one you want to be on the front and which one you want to be on the back. It doesn't make any difference. But I happen to have this little gift card. This is a gift card somebody gave me last year from Starbucks. I have no idea if they still have this gift card or not, but I'm sure they have others that are fantastic. So I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive to this gift card. You could use a glue dot too. And I'm just going to add it to this piece of designer series paper, and then I'm gonna tuck it in here so that they can get it out. And then I have this one here, same thing. This is an Amazon card, it's used. I always have to make sure I write used on them or I can't remember. And we will add that to the designer series paper. Somebody said something about a scoop of good sauce, Parmesan pasta and cookbook. Oh, that's a good idea, Lee. And then I will slide that one in. So now we have two gift cards in here, or you could put money, or you could use one to have, if you didn't want to give two gift cards, this one could just be a piece of paper that had a nice message on it, okay? So then we're going to fold this up. And again, if you want to stamp something here, you absolutely can. I'm trying to make this quickly. Um, so if it's last minute gift, you could make it quickly. Then we're going to wrap it up with a belly band. This is a one and a half by eight and a half inch piece of that same designer series paper. And I'm going to fold it to the front. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it. And then when I bring this one up, I'm not going to have it be super tight because I do want this belly band to come to kind of slide off, you know, fairly easily. I don't want it to be stuck on there. Uh, so tightly that you can't get the gift cards out, okay? So you just wrap that around and then bring that. So this is the front, but now we're gonna hide the seam with some with a label, okay? So this is just two circle die cuts out of the layering circles dies. 
this one is probably the fourth largest circle, straight circle. And then this one is la, 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 number six. So actually, this is probably number six also. So it goes, I, I numbered them smallest from the inside. So this was one. This is probably five or six. And then this one is number six. This is probably five. I think five and six go together. Okay. So we've done that. So now I'm just going to quickly decorate this little label here and then we're done. Oh my gosh, Cynthia just gave me a tip. Cynthia, you're so nice. Thank you so much. And that's one of my favorite little people, Lipster Lemon Guy there. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Okay, so I have two different stamp sets only because it had a couple things and I wanted it. I'm using the Framed and Festive. This is almost gone as far as I'm, as far as I know. It's only available to the end of the catalog period which is like january 4th anyway it says have yourself a merry little christmas it's the perfect size for this size of circle so that's why i chose it i'm sure that you have plenty of stamps that will work and i am going to use polished pink because polished pink is one of the colors in this paper and so i am just going to stamp this on here oh my gosh i see another one. Oh my gosh wendy thank you so much Wendy also just gave me a tip. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I have that. I need a scratch paper. Kathy says to get an egg cooker. Interesting. Eggs are hard cooked to perfection. The eggs feel so nice. Okay, I will take that into consideration also. Thank you. All right, so then I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to this. So I pulled out one of the little tree stamps from the Peaceful Deer, and I pulled out the snowflakes. So I'm going to stamp some trees in some Granny Apple Green and some snowflakes in some uh, pool party. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the most part. I might put some embellishments on here. I don't know. We might not need embellishments. We might just leave it. Um... Let's see. I'm purposely trying to get this little snowflake here because it's really cute. And then this little snowflake right there. Okay. And then these trees. Is this the tree I want? No, this is the tree. This is like the trio. The trio of trees. And I'm going to stamp it kind of in the middle. And then maybe off to either side. So just barely. Just to add a little color to the label. And kind of pick up some of the colors that I have in the paper. Just for a little bit of fun. This might end up being something that my daughter gets <laughs> with some gift cards in it. <laughs> we'll see. And then we can go ahead and maybe use some dimensionals for this part. Okay, take those off. Add our little label here. There. And if you want, you can add some gems. I found these adhesive-backed seasonal sequins, and I wasn't sure if those would match. The green ones kind of do. Let's go with some green. Why not? I feel like those are supposed to be shaded spruce, so let's just throw them on. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing. Oh, no, wait. We're going to actually put these on the belly band, um, I think, because if we don't, uh, then... When we try to take the belly band off, then the gems will slide off with the belly band. So tip, pro tip. Okay, look at that. Belly band slides off. You flip it over, you open it up, and voila, you have some fun inside there. And again, if you wanted to, you could stamp stuff in there. You could stamp this, or you can stamp none of it if you need a quick gift for somebody. All right, there it is, done. That literally did not take that much time. So yay, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And you could probably use big envelopes too. I just happened to have these smaller ones and I just kind of thought they were fun, a fun size to use rather than a big envelope. So that's why I grabbed those. But a big envelope would work just fine. You just have to adjust the measurements, obviously. Okay, let's get rid of that stuff. And now... This next card isn't super exciting, but you know what? You might have to make some thank you cards for some of the fantastic gifts that you're going to get for Christmas. And so why not use 
the fish in a wish stamp set. <laughs> I know you're thinking what <laughs> fish in a wish. Uh, this is a pretty simple little card. It's a layout that you can use for many different stamp sets, many different designer series papers, but it's pretty quick also. So I have a layer of Tahitian Tide. So this is my card base and we will get that folded. I then have a two by, oh my gosh, that did not get folded evenly, like even sort of evenly folded. Hold on there. Okay. Then I have a two by one and three quarter inch piece of designer series paper. This is the same paper I just used on that gift card holder. And then I have a two by three and three quarter inch piece of white. Okay. So I'm going to add, oh no, I'm not just yet. I'm going to do a little kind of a little bit of background stamping on this just a tiny bit. Um, that's a scratch paper. What am I looking for? My Tahitian Tide ink. There's this kind of cool wavy stamp in this set, and that's what I'm going to use for my background. So I am just going to do this. And I'm going to rotate my stamp around each time I do it and then stamp it. So that's going to give it a little bit different look. And, you know, just so you know, I have a class on this. Um, that I still have some kits for. So if anybody's um, looking for a fish in a wish class, I can hook you up. So I'm just stamping it off each time and then I'm rotating the stamp so that I get a different angle on it each time I stamp it. And for the most part, my white layer and my little piece of designer series paper are going to cover up the middle. So I don't have to have anything in the middle. So this is just, this is plenty. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our little piece down here at the bottom of our not cut straight or not folded straight piece. You know what? I think I might scooch that over just a tiny little bit to the left. Just a teeny tiny little bit. So I'm actually leaving, I don't know, maybe like three quarters of an inch over there. Okay. Then we have this kind of seaweed looking uh, stamp and I'm going to stamp that a couple times. I'm stamping it off because I don't want it to be super dark like that. Pretty easy. We'll add this. And again, like I said, this is a really simple layout that you could use literally with anything. Just, you know, find a scrap of designer series paper and then just make a card from that. You know, it would work good with just flower images or anything that's kind of tall and skinny. If you have any other stamps in your collection that are kind of tall and skinny, I kind of think flowers just because you could have some stems, that kind of stuff on there. Anyway, um, that is a little off. I don't know if I put it on crooked or if I cut it wrong. It's possible it's on there crooked. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's what it is. You know what? We're going to leave it because it feels like it's a little tight and I don't want to ruin it. So. It is what it is. It's a handmade card. Okay. Uh, we have a sentiment that says a sea of thanks. Whoops. We need Pacific Point for this. I want it to be a little bit dark. <clears throat> excuse me. A little bit darker on our little strip here. This is just a half inch by two and a half inch strip. And I'm going to try to center this there. And then we're going to snip this off with this little banner punch. This is the banners pick a punch. And so I'm just going to slide that in and just snip off a tiny bit, flip it upside down, scooge it over and snip off another little tiny bit. Okay. And then that's just going to cover up my seam. So nobody will even know that I have a seam there. So just kind of center it on your seam. Something like this. There we go. Um, and then we, of course, need fish. You know, if we're going to be using the fish in a wish, we need some fish. So I'm going to stamp the long fish. Let's see, where's my punch? See how this fish is oriented. So I need to stamp him this way. He's swimming that direction, at least on the paper. And then the little fish swims the other direction. So 
we need the little fish and some Pacific Point. And like I said, he's going the other direction. There we go. So we will get our bigger fish punched out here. I think this punch is on back order, but I believe it's supposed to be back in stock next week. So hopefully it is. Although, as again, I'm sure a lot of you guys already have this um, since it's in the annual catalog. It's been around for a while, and um, I love this. And I'm honestly kind of sick of Christmas cards right now. I've, I've made a lot of Christmas projects. And I'm, just, I'm, I'm kind of done with Christmas. I'm excited to get into Celebration and the new mini catalog. Okay, so we're going to add the fish to the front of the card. This one I'm going to pop up on some dimensionals. So I've got some minis here. So I'm going to use a couple of minis. I think I can get one right down here on the tail. I can. Yay me. All right. So we will have that little fishy go that way. This little fishy is going to be going that way. And so is this one. But this one's going to be kind of over here. There we go. Connie said she had three Christmas parties, oh my gosh, at work. So she's over it. I would imagine that you are. That's a lot of Christmasing. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love Christmas. I'm all about it. But I'm, I'm tired of making Christmas cards and Christmas projects. I'm done with that. Okay. Um, inside layer. Because I was just thinking about what I was going to do in here. So I'm going to just kind of... Uh, maybe stamp a little, I don't know, whatever this is, a little bit of sea, a little bit of ocean down in here. And then I feel like we might need a fish to be swimming in the ocean. So let's punch one more fish out and we'll add that to the inside. Because why not, right? Because it's so easy to add a fish to the inside. I am a huge fan of punches. There it is. And we're going to add some sequins to the front. So we're not quite done with it yet. But we're pretty dang close. Okay. So there is the card. Mostly done. Now I've talked about these sequins before. But they are amazing. If you guys don't have them, you should really think about getting them. They are called the For Everything Fancy Sequins. And, of course, you can get them today with free shipping if you order $75. Just throwing that out there. Um, and there are three different colors. Each color has basically the same style of sequins, okay? So, like, in this blue container, you'll see that we have a blue hexagon. We've got green hexagons in here, pink hexagons in there. We've got a medium-sized blue sequin. So this one has the green medium sequin. This one has the pink. Um, then they all have this kind of iridescent white kind of colored sequin. They all have these little half pearls. Uh, what else do they all have? They all have these little tiny gold and silver sequins. And then they all have, uh, you know, whatever color it is and the tiny little hexagon. So there's a lot of really fun things in here. So what I like to do is I like to just dump a bunch out into the lid and that way I can sort of see what I'm working with. And then I like to take my glue and add them here and there. So I'm gonna add like a couple above each fish, you know, cause you know, in the ocean, fish kind of breathe out bubbles. And so I thought that might be kind of fun to use sequins for little fish bubbles. All right, so I kind of am partial to these for this particular thing that I'm doing. These are the colored medium-sized sequins. Is that? Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty sequin, actually. I'm going to use that one. I think I just touched my finger to the glue. And so now I have glue on my finger and um, it's not on the paper. Wow. That was really silly. 
Oh, and there's some glue right there. Okay, I need to get my glue eraser out, obviously. Jeez. And this little, no, that one's too big. We are gonna go, oh, right there, right there is one. Perfect. Okay. And so, look at that. So now we have little fish bubbles coming out of each little fishy. And the card is now done. So we have the front, we have the inside, we have some fancy sequins on there. Push all this junk out of the way and I can bring in the stuff we've done. So we did our fish card, Fish in a Wish, love it. Again, I have an online class if you didn't know. Then we made this super fun gift card holder out of envelopes. And we just used designer series paper to attach our gift cards to those. So much fun. And then we did this fun alphabest card using the Today is the Day Memories and More cards also. So yay. So I'm so glad you guys were here with me tonight. I hope you had fun. Um, I sure did. Thank you guys a ton for all those suggestions for my daughter. I appreciate that very much. I'm definitely going to check into some of those things and see if she's interested in any of them. And what else? What else? What else? I don't know. I might be live next week. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just pop on and do maybe like one. Maybe I'll have her if she's willing with me. Um, maybe we can demonstrate the card that she designed uh, for my swap. Maybe because she did a really cute job of it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Uh, just check out, you know, my Facebook page always has the updates if I'm going to be live or not. And then of course you can just tune in on Thursdays. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel, which I believe there's a subscribe button right down here, um, you'll be notified when I go live. So um, if you haven't already subscribed, you should. Then you click the little notification bell. And then you'll be notified when I go live. So, um, Or you can just put a reminder in your phone Thursday night, 4 Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, 7 Eastern. You know, most of the time, I'm here with you guys. So anyways, hope you guys all have a Merry, Merry Christmas if I don't see you. Um, and I guess if I do, then I do. So thanks again, you guys. I hope you have a great night and a great week. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.